first thing that I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and take um, MAC 24 Hour Eye Base. I'm just gonna apply it right um, behind my lids. Okay guys, so the first color that I'm gonna go ahead and take is gonna be this color right here from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is more of a brownie color, it's not too orangey orange. I'm gonna take that shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right on my outer crease and then just kind of blending it inwards. You want to make sure that your hand is very, very light. Um, just be really, really light-handed is what I'm trying to say. When you're applying this shade, don't apply too much of it on. Because again, we're not trying to go for like that dramatic, dramatic eye look. That was the first color on my lid. And that is all we're going to be doing as our transitional color. I am going to be going ahead and taking this color right here. Oops. That color right there, it's just a matte shade. So now moving on to my lid. This is such a pretty shade, guys. And it looks something um, like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it on for you guys. It is like, I don't know if you can see that. It is the prettiest color ever it is more it is like a glitter eyeshadow basically you go ahead and apply it right on my lid just like that moving on to eyeliner um, I am going to be using an Ardency in pen liner that looks something like that Eyeliner, concealer pen, whatever. And it's devastating because this is the only thing that ever works for me and really just opens up. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take Iconic London Illuminator um, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of it on just the high points of kind of my cheeks. If you guys can see that. It's a lot. And then right above here, but I'm gonna blend that out. And so my nose. It's for foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and use a mixture, and I did use this in my other video as well, of the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This one is in golden. It is a, a couple shades dark, that's why I am kind of mixing. Uh, and I can't mix together because this one is a uh, cream and that one is more of a liquidy form. So I gotta do it separately. And then I'm gonna be taking MAC Studio Water Weight. Just gonna smear it on my face. Now taking my Hourglass Kabuki brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend all of this in. Now what I like to do guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a beauty blender and just kind of dab into the foundation. By the way, um, the Hourglass stick is more of a medium to full coverage foundation and then the MAC Studio Water Weight is more of a lighter coverage foundation so it does even out. Okay guys, so for concealer, I think this is the only concealer I ever use. 
um, it's NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Now what I like to do is kind of, just kind of go down in this motion. And then a little bit on the bridge of the nose. And I want to keep it slow. And just a little bit on the forehead. Making a Lancome Le Duo highlighting contour stick, I'm just going to light a little bit on. And taking a BH Cosmetics angled brush, this is number three, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. Now guys, taking MAC Studio Fix in NC35 with a big um, 140S brush from MAC, I'm going to go ahead and just lightly set all the kind of areas. I'm just going to go ahead and cord the cheek. So the lip liner I'm using is Huda Beauty um, Vixen. The lip color that I'm using is MAC Dance With Me. It is more of a red. So if you are going to use this, make sure you really blend it in.